Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything, I'm your host James Egan. Since I'm focused on African American history this month, today I'll be looking at Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is the most famous boxer to ever live and one of the greatest sportsmen. One of the most influential people in the civil rights movement. But another thing he did that a lot of people forget was, he was an actor on Broadway. And you might be thinking, what, when he was young, before he was famous? No, in the 1960s. In 1969, he starred in the Broadway musical Book White. It was absolutely terrible, but the critics said that Ali was a surprisingly very, very good actor. And that is the first fact about Muhammad Ali. Let's dive in. Muhammad Ali was born in 1942 as Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. He was born in Louisville, Kentucky. He was inspired to take up boxing after his bike was stolen by a bunch of thugs. He was rejected from the draft in 1964 as his IQ was considered too low. He became friends with Prince due to their shared love for magic. He was also good friends with the musician Barry White. You might think it's odd that Muhammad Ali was a Broadway actor, but he was very nearly a Grammy winner. He was nominated for a Grammy for his song, I Am The Greatest. I'm gonna float like a butterfly and bang like Mr. T was the personal bodyguard for Michael Jackson, Steve McQueen, and Muhammad Ali. He won an Olympic gold medal in light heavyweight boxing in 1960. He turned professional later that year. Muhammad Ali isn't just famous because of his boxing, but everything around it. At the time, many athletes let their agents or managers talk on their behalf. They were boxers just boxed. But Ali craved attention and publicly trash talked his competitors. Somebody told me George Foreman was awful strong. I said he should try ban roll on. That's a deodorant. <laughs> Ali actually had his friends write insults and jokes and raps to mock his rivals. Not only did Ali have a major influence on boxing, but also on the civil rights movement, fighting against segregation and helping end the military draft. He was the first boxer to knock down Sonny Liston. Ali was also the first boxer to beat Liston in a decade. It was this victory that made Ali the world heavyweight champion on February 25th, 1964. He was only 22. After he defeated Liston, Ali admitted that he was a member of the Nation of Islam. He told reporters that he denied his slave name and referred to himself as Cassius X. On March 6th, 1964, he took on the name Muhammad Ali. He had a rematch with Liston on May 25th, 1965. Ali defeated him in the first minute of the first round. It was actually a minute and 49 seconds, but it doesn't have the same ring to it. This became a very, very popular inspirational poster for many people. Which is quite ironic, because Muhammad Ali technically didn't beat him? I'm sure there's somebody watching this video going, Yes, he did. Everybody knows that. I saw the fight. You see, the referee made a mistake. When he knocked him down, Muhammad Ali went right up to Sonny Liston and said, get up, sucker. You can't do that. Once you knock somebody down, you have to go back to your corner. If you stay around them, not getting them a chance to get up, you forfeit the fight. So Muhammad Ali should have lost, but the referee just didn't notice or didn't remember. Muhammad Ali defeated Liston with the legendary Phantom Punch. It was called such because it was so quick, most people didn't even notice it. Even in slow motion, it's difficult to see Ali connect with Liston. He doesn't even hit him that hard. He hit him just right and Liston went right down. Ali was the first boxer to knock down George Foreman. This was also the first fight where Foreman was KO'd. In 1975, he faced Joe Frazier in the match known as Thriller in Manila. Ali said this was the most exhausting fight he ever took part in since it was 49 degrees Celsius and the match went on for 14 rounds. The fight was so intense that Ali sweat off five pounds and said it was the closest he came to death in his entire career. I'm sorry, I, I just, I have to check that. You have to burn 3,590 calories to burn one pound of fat, which means in that fight, he burned off five pounds, uh, three, five, nine, zero. 17,950 calories. That's like almost what you eat in nine days and he burned it off in one go. He was the first three-time world heavyweight champion. Ali lost his heavyweight title to Leon Spinks in 1978. This is the first time a heavyweight champion lost a title to a novice fighter. Ali popularized the rope-a-dope technique where he allowed his opponent to wail on him for several rounds, exhausting all their energy. When his opponent had nothing left, Ali would pound them senseless. He famously performed this technique during his bout with George Foreman in Zaire. The fight is better known as the Rumble in the Jungle. 
He took part in 61 professional fights. He won 56 of them, 37 by KO. Ali refused to join the military in 1966. In 1967, he was sentenced to five years in jail and had to pay a $10,000 fine. He was stripped of his titles, his passport, and his right to box. Luckily, he did not attend prison due to his Supreme Court appeal. He was nicknamed the Louisville Lip, the People's Champion, and the Greatest. He stood six foot three. He was married four times. He married his second wife, Kalila Belinda Boyd, when she was only 17. He had a fear of flying. That reminds me, there's, there's a funny urban legend about Muhammad Ali on a plane where he wouldn't put on his seatbelt and the flight attendant said, Sir, every passenger needs your seatbelt on. Muhammad Ali responded by saying, Superman don't need no seatbelt. The flight attendant said, Superman don't need no plane either. <laughs> He played himself in four different movies. He had nine children. His daughter, Layla, became a boxer in 1999. I mentioned in my Martin Luther King video that he is of Irish ancestry. So is Muhammad Ali. Yeah. His great-grandfather, Abe Grady, was Irish. Ali visited Ireland for the first time in 2009. It's probably the best thing that ever happened in Ireland in my life. Muhammad Ali developed Parkinson's syndrome due to being hit in the head throughout his boxing career. He lit the Olympic torch in 1996. The Olympic Committee kept Ali's participation in the games a secret. At the time, Ali had been retired for 15 years and he rarely made a public appearance. Although he was 54, Ali was visibly affected by Parkinson's as he kept shaking throughout the games. Sadly, his Parkinson caused Ali's mind to debilitate more and more until the day he died. Muhammad Ali passed away on June 3rd, 2016.